Hello everyone and welcome back. Continuing with the previous video, let us see in this video the part 2 of exercises based on relational model concepts. The first problem in this video is consider the following relations for a database that keeps track of student enrollment in courses and books adopted for each course. So these relational schemas represent a database that keeps track of the students enrolled in different courses and also it keeps track of the books adopted for each course. Let us see each of the relational schemas. The first is the student relation with social security number or SSN, name, major and B date or birth date as its attributes. Here in this relation student, SSN is the primary key as each of its values are unique and helps us to identify each student uniquely. The next relation is course with course number, quarter and grade as its attributes. Here the course number helps us to identify each course uniquely. Therefore course number is the primary key of this relation course. In this relation enroll, we have SSN, course number, quarter and grade as its attributes. This relation keeps track of all the students enrolled in different courses. One student can be enrolled in multiple courses. For example, the first student can be enrolled in course 1 and that same student can be enrolled in another course, say course 2. Now the second student can also be enrolled in the same course, course 1 and course 2. So with just SSN or with only course number, we cannot identify each tuple in this relation uniquely. We need a combination of both SSN and course number. Therefore, SSN and course number together are the primary keys of this relation enroll. Next, let us see the text relation which has book ISBN or international standard book number, book title, publisher and author as its attributes. Here the book ISBN is a standard book number which will be unique for each book. Therefore this is the primary key of this relation text. And then we have book adoption relation with course number, quarter and book ISBN as its attributes. Now in this question they are asking us to specify the foreign keys for these relational schemas stating any assumptions you make. Now let us try to identify the foreign keys in each of these relational schemas. So in the first relation student, let us see if there is any foreign key in this relation. It has attributes SSN, name, major and B date and none of the attributes of this relation refer to any attributes of other relations. Therefore there is no foreign key in this relation student. Again, in the next relation course, none of its attributes refer to any attributes in other relational schemas. So no foreign key in this relation course. The SSN of the enroll relation refers to the SSN of the student relation. Therefore, SSN is the foreign key in this relation enroll. So we have identified our first foreign key. So the schema of this question has the following four foreign keys. The first one we have identified that is the attribute SSN of relation enroll that references the relation student. Now in the same relation enroll, its attribute course number refers to the course number of the course relation. So even course number is the foreign key in this relation enroll. Therefore we have identified the second foreign key that is the attribute course number in relation enroll that references the relation course. Next in this relation book adoption, its attribute course number refers to the course number of the course relation. So we have identified the third foreign key that is course number in this relation book adoption. That is the attribute course number in the relation book adoption that references relation course. Again in the same relation book adoption, we have an attribute book ISBN that refers to the book ISBN attribute of the text relation. So that is the fourth foreign key that we have identified that is the attribute book ISBN of relation book adoption that references relation text. So these are the four foreign keys that we have identified in these relational schemas. Now the next question is a homework problem which you can try it out yourself. It is similar to the exercise problem we discussed in the previous video. Suppose that each of the following update operations is applied directly 
to the database state as shown below. Discuss all the integrity constraints violated by each operation, if any, and the different ways of enforcing these constraints. So here in this database state that is given, we have four relations. The first is the employee relation with SSN as its primary key. The second relation is the department relation with D number as its primary key. The third relation is project with P number as its primary key. And lastly, we have the work sound relation with SSN and P number as its primary keys. There are different update operations that are given that can be applied to this database state. The first update operation is to insert a tuple with value 66598475, the name Andrew, 32000 and the number 3 into employee relation. The second question is to insert a new tuple with values 18598475, Jessica, 40000 and the value 7 into the employee relation. The third question is to insert a tuple with values null, computerization and the number 3 into the project relation. The fourth update operation is again to insert a tuple with values 1, administration and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 7, 9 into the department relation. We have another insert operation with values null, finance, 96959821 into the department relation. The next question is to delete the employee tuple with SSN 45263514. So they are asking us to delete this tuple in this relation employee. The next operation is to delete the works on tuple with SSN equal to 45263514 and P number is equal to 3. The next operation is also a delete operation where we need to delete the project tuple with P number is equal to 10. The next question is to modify or update the D number of the employee tuple with manager SSN equal to 45263542 to the number 7. The last update operation in this exercise problem is modify the R's of the works on tuple with SSN equal to 45263542 and P number is equal to 1 to the number 20. Again, this is the condition given over here. With this condition, we need to update the attribute Rs of the works on tuple to the number 20. So these are the update operations that are applied directly to this database state. Now with these update operations, you need to see if there are any integrity constraints that are violated. And if violated, you need to mention the different ways to enforce those constraints that are violated. With this, we come to the end of this video. Hope you have understood all the exercise problems that we have discussed. Thank you.